And we are wrapping this up. Now, kill Carpenter. Now, first things first, the beginning of this mission. Originally, you had a lot more... You had a lot more... Uh, sunken colonies to defend with originally. You are just expected to lose this base in this version. There's just nothing you can do about it. And they did the, oh, we're under assault, help message and panned over here to, to let you, the player, know you're supposed to move over here. There's just nothing you can do to keep this. Like, you'll kill a few units, but they're just gonna rampage through you. There's just nothing you can do about it. Originally, you could keep all that if you knew what you were doing, but yeah. So, right off the bat, we're obviously building a uh, hatchery and a extractor but we're also gonna move our our guardians over here and there's a very good reason we're moving our guardians over here because over here we'll get kill this spore colony too over here lies an enemy base a very small enemy base but an enemy base nonetheless check up on that and their AI does not activate until you build a hatchery so if you're quick like I'm being right now you can eradicate all their drones which I failed to do there you can kill them before they even activate <laughs> I don't know if this was something you could do in the original Brood War. I know you had Guardians originally, but I don't know if Purple's AI would have been built up enough to allow you to be able to do this. Now the AI is activated. Now that drone is dead. And, uh... That was the only hatchery they had, so... And look at all the minerals you get. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35... 42, 49, 58, 6, 63, 70,000 minerals. All for you to take. But I can't get there just yet, so now we're just going to focus on base building and clearing out some of purple stuff. But that is not all. Oh, and 11,000 Thespian gas. Uh, let's steer clear of this. Actually, we can kill some of this. How is... <laughs> okay. Well, the Zerg were nice this time. They actually allowed me to keep... They actually gave... Allowed me to keep a, uh... They allowed me to keep a freaking... Sunken colony and a Spore colony alive. I... They're usually not that nice. But, uh... Just have these guys... Gather minerals... And gas. Actually... Uh, this might be a little too many. No, actually, that's just enough. Build a second hatchery, obviously. Build an evol a spawning pool. Build my three evolution chambers. Oh, these aren't even uh, the same faction that attacked me. Attacked me from the start. 
Uh, I'd build a creep colony, but... The Zerg, but, uh... Once this hatchery's done, it'll expand the creep throughout this island. And are you gonna kill that colony, please? Good. It's gonna inevitably, or eventually work my way down and clear that out. Build a third evo, evo chamber. And I'm gonna get carapace. Get missile attacks, I guess. Get metabolic boost, layer mutation, more drones. Let's see, one, two, three, evolution chambers, hydralisk den, and that's all I can do for right this second. That's fine. Uh, you are going to destroy this spore colony, hopefully. And over here lies the best secret in the mission. Yeah, it's not really a secret. Alright, let's see here. Whoa! Uh, I moved too close to that. And go, Sunken Colony. You've done a great job of surviving so far. You can do it! actually a pretty good sunken colony. Holy moly, you sir that thing survived a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna actually attack this sunken colony here, hopefully. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, attack this. Uh, no. I so clearly clicked on that spore colony. Uh, get the two spires and the queen's den, queen's nest. Get some mutalisks to defend, because they will send air, they will send, uh, they will send overlords full of, uh, zerg to attack me. I'm doing these colonies very carefully so I can actually get over here once I get a hive. Uh... creep do you have over here? A little bit. You're gonna be a hive. You are going to... Let's see. How many do I got here? Two. I need more. That'll be a, an, ex, uh, an acceptable number of drones. Uh, to, to get melee attacks. Get flyer attacks. That's gonna stay there for right now. Uh, ooh, that's unacceptable. We need that to be a spore colony. Oh, speaking of spore colony, we can use that for right now. Actually, fuck, it's just faster if I do this. But no! Okay, now, now the, uh, now the angry Zerg from the beginning are coming in to finish the job. I was gonna put down a Nidus Canal here, which I will do, but it's just, that way is so much slower than, uh, just sending the overlords here manually. Uh, speaking of overlords, okay, I'm gonna get the quote-unquote secret. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Move back. Uh, oh, I... I moved too many. Uh, 
Wait, what am I doing? Uh, mutas. Or hydras. And looks like they got adrenal glands now. Oh, look here. Devours adults. Devours children. It is time to purge this abomination from our fold. His treacherous agenda is no, now over. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right. So now we got, we got some more hero units, but it's devours children and devours adults. I'll say, like I said, I did not quite mean to get this many drones over there, but uh, oh well. And now I can just get uh, snake poison along with a contingency of of uh, hydralisks to defend against air attacks. And uh, I can get Devourer's Adults to defend against literally everything else. Oh, oh, Hydralisk, you think you can stop Devourer's Adults? How quaint. Ooh, Sunken Colony. Oh, dead. Oh, dead. You fucko. Get out of here. And you start gathering resources. You also gather Vespin gas. And are you... Yeah, you're about good. You, you are good. Uh... I'm gonna plant this overlord nearby because the Zerg, they will, oh shit, what am I thinking? Oh, no, get away. They will send defilers with the plague after you. Devourers children, get in there and just wreck that thing. Devourers children actually does more DPS than uh, devourers adults because it is so because it attacks so fast. Also, I'm getting another hatchery over here for these resources. So basically, this is a build in several bases, gather a shitload of resources, and overwhelm them type mission. And I love those missions as the Zerg. Also, I've been doing a really bad job with the uh, microwave. Where's... What did I do with Devourer's Adults? And chill. Oh, uh, they're just right here. You can stay right here. Devour's children is tough, but if he gets plagued, it then he's gonna be he's gonna be in rough shape for a while. You guys are gonna go there and there. Uh, the, these hydralisks are actually gonna be okay. Uh, miss three, three, two. Uh, that's fine. So I guess now it's time to start pumping out Mutalisks for my main assault. Imagine if Devourer's adults had some upgrade that allows them to attack at double speed. Uh oh. Mutalists. Get in there. Overlord's going back. And I need more drones. More drones. More. Wait. I lost a mutalisk somewhere. 
you're gonna get Fire Carapace. No, oh, I was. Wait, what did it get attacked by? Oh, really? Um. Okay. Uh, you guys are gonna build mutalisks. And Guardian. Oops. Guardian. Now, um, I've... Ah. Now, I know I've already said this. Ooh, you're parasite infected. That's no good. Um... Vorgaz, when you're done making your up your update for your Rise of Devil Devour's Children campaign, uh, post the link. Send me the link to, the link to that in the comments of this video. It's, once you do that, I will be more than happy to play play that campaign when you're done with it. So once that. Once I get sent the uh, the big updated version of Rise of Devour's Children, I'll be playing that next, because, quite frankly, I haven't gotten my fill of StarCraft yet. You'd think I would after a 30-mission uh, campaign, but no, no, I still feel like playing it. And on a side note, I'm glad it's something other than Media XL that has any sort of attention on the channel. Alright, so, group one. Yeah, let's get, get rid of these spore colonies and this gar- and this, uh, sunken colony. And I could start, like, finally start gathering some Vespine gas from here. Uh, ooh, zero two, that's no buys. Oh, you got hit with plague. That's why I sent the de devourer down there, or the uh, overlord. Oh, and uh, <clears throat> one shot that son of a bitch. Obviously, these these uh, hydralisks are only here to serve as uh, air or as a uh, mobile defense for this island. For if this island were to fall, this would be really bad. I'm gonna assume that if I go in with a shitload of ultralisks, they're just gonna get, uh, broodlinged. I could be wrong on that, but I'd rather not risk it. Oh. Oh, almost forgot. I am gonna actually build an ultralisk cavern, though, in case I want to have them along just for support. Even though I'll probably end up just getting a fuckload of zerglings. Try to jam down the enemy's throat. You are gonna build... You're gonna be an Ultralisk Cavern? You are gonna be a Nidus Canal. Devourers adults, no! That was a bad Devourers adults.
Oh no, don't you even think about it. Uh, I think I have... Oh, I have one too many. Oh, I have one too many guarding the thing. Or, not guarding the thing, uh, gathering mineral gas. You've got to learn. Okay, so just kill the devourers, or the spore colonies. Alright, so I'm going to just clear out all this crap. This useless, insignificant filth. And if you guys think this is insane overkill, Vorgaz made no changes to this map as far as uh, enemy placements. Well, he may have changed a few things here and there, but the the insane abundance of these colonies, this was original insurrection. He made no changes to the number of uh, colonies, and I don't think he changed those ones at all. And, uh, do I have the... I do have the Zerg, uh, the range. Okay, I'm just gonna get some Zerglings. I'm gonna prepare to rush Zergling... Zerglings down the coast, too. Uh... I don't know if I want to send... I don't know if I want to send, uh... Snake Poison along. I might want to keep him alive. I know he doesn't have to live, but, uh... Why would I want to kill him? Fucker. I saw... a spot of white there, and I thought that was gonna be a devourer doing its thing. Yeah, and this shit is still really badly hurt. Uh-oh. Move back. Even though I know Devourer's adults can solo, I'm gonna make you group seven. Uh, oh. Group three. Two groups of, two more groups of Hydralisks. A couple, de two Devourers, which should be fine. And again, the monstrous Devourer's adults. I don't wanna send, where is Devourer's children? There you are. Oh, you're hiding amongst the, the massive horde of... The massive horde of, uh, guardians. Uh, that's six. That's eight. Or seven. That's nine. Make that ten. And I am still gonna send guard... Oh, wait, I didn't place the other side. Well, let's place it here, just to fuck with them. Build more Zerglings, build more Zerglings as distractions. Uh, let's see if this is a good idea or not. Also, I like how big this gets for such a small building. Well, actually, I guess it's medium-sized. Guardian, or Devourers. Not Overlords. I keep calling everything Devourers. Uh, four? Five. Actually, you're gonna be group six. Just Devourers Adults alone is gonna be group six. Because, I mean, he can tank, like, pretty much anything. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, Zerglings here? Just... I'm just gonna start moving shit in through here. No, I didn't want you moving yet.
I would get upset at my devourers for or guardians for here I go again for dying, but that was probably one that was plagued and needed to be eradicated anyway. Oh, hello. Uh, ooh. Actually, Zerglings, go. Oh yeah, come on, Zerglings, do your thing. Take out some buildings. Oh. Except don't get hit by Scourges. That would be bad. Uh, how was, uh, Hunter Killer holding out? Er, not Hunter Killer. Snake Poison. And, uh, oh. All right, Devourer's adults get in there and just cut that thing in half. And I'm just gonna keep placing Hydras, Hydras, uh, Mutas, Zerglings. Uh, why'd you plague Devourer's adults again? He was already plagued. Uh oh, Snake Poison, no, 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 no. We are not, no, we're not losing him today. Uh. kind of turned into a disaster. Actually, let's, uh, alright, actually, let's retreat. Actually, you go ahead and, you can keep doing your thing. You're just so tank, you're just so bulky and so good that you can do as you please. Uh, Muta? One, two, three, four, five, oh, okay, six. Uh, I just have more mutalisks for support. Oh well. Uh, you get in there. Hydra. Hydra. Hydra, Hydra. Yeah, I cleaned out that entire area there. There's a hive over here, which I will promptly eradicate. Uh, oh. Good job, Zerglings. Are guardians, guardians, devout uh, hydralisks, more hydralisks, more hydralisks, more hydralisks. So, I think now I'm just gonna want to uh, annihilate everything as I come across it, because that whole area is cleaned out, and it would have gone even further had had I not gotten plagued, but eh, oh well. Uh, okay. And then, I'm just gonna rally down with Zerglings, because I do like Zerglings. They are devastating in large groups. Save again. Move up with Devour. Actually, I think I'm gonna. I think Devour's adults should lead the charge. Oh. Cause. Oh yeah, and there's a Black Morgan here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why we have a Black Morgan unit here, given that she died the previous mission. Unless she's supposed to be, like, infested? Oh, no! Fuck you! Piece of shit. Actually, I'm gonna keep loading that until I get the awesome music, which is what was coming up. Oh, and they're all 3-3, three, three, so...
kill that thing? Fuck yeah! Uh, devour, uh, devourers adults, go. Zerglings, get in there. Provide some, dis I would say provide cover for him, but he don't need no cover. He's the only 4,000 HP unit I've ever heard of. Well, but even he's taken a beating from all this, so. Move back just a tiny bit. Uh, oh, shit. Get back, 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 get back. He, exactly wrong. Uh, I am not losing snake poison today. Devourers adults, don't you die on me. Where are you? Get back. Actually, let me just handle this attack better. I shouldn't have gone in there with all the crap that I did. I should I should have cleaned out the coast first with the... Uh... Wait for this. Wait for that little fucko. I should have cleaned out the coast with the... Uh... Uh oh, get the scourge! Get fucking s piece of shit! Stop! Just attack! Please get get in there! Yeah, I botched that attack big time. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, kill that thing. Kill that thing. Uh, well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and I was contemplating having muta normal mutas along just for this reason. I can handle this much better. I need to stop being a dipshit and actually do this correctly. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 actually. Slow it down to one frame. Kill the defiler. Oh man, that's actually too slow for my liking. Kill that thing. Kill it. And actually save so I don't have to keep killing that thing again. Uh, get it out of here. I, I just gotta do hit and. Whoa! Well, oh my. Mm. <laughs> Good work, Hydralisks. Good work. Uh, you're too far away from that. Hmm. Not sure how I want to handle this. I. with all the scourges and whatnot. Actually, I know how to. I should handle this. Just mutalisks. Uh, what? What the hell are you? Where the hell are you going? You guys just rally down there. And if anyone wonders why I wasn't using the attack move command, 
This guy's honestly, I didn't know you could do that until watching some of Jay Perino's videos. Oh, a streamer. Uh, overlords, go. Uh, hello? What are you doing, Black Morgan? I'm pull- I'm calling off this attack. So I'm gonna get you. Alright, go ahead and run to the corner of the map. That's fine. Let's see, group three. Go, 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 go. Okay, uh, oh, well, that would have helped. Nothing there. I'm gonna start rallying over here. Mutalisks, mutalisks. Yeah, you guys are not gonna survive very long, so just go over there and, uh, don't the enemy also have blade guardians? Get that, get those overlords out of here. Another change from the original uh, campaign is that um, oh, oh shit! I moved you guys way too close. Uh. Please just start attacking. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, attack that high guardian, please. Uh, I have not lost snake poison yet, have I? Okay, cool. There we go. Hive is dead. Now they are going to heavily enforce that, reinforce this area. But if I just keep spamming mutalisks at them, they'll have much less of a chance of doing that. Speaking of mutalisks, you guys, go in. Go all in. Kill it. Kill. I need more ultra or hydras too. Hydras, just keep massing everything down there. That's how you win. You just mass spam everything and just uh, replace everything that you lose. And there, I just cut a massive hole through their uh, through their lines. So. You guys are going through the through the canal. More hydralisks. More hydralisks. Oh, okay, we're just gonna do that, sh are we? Get 
actually get that spore colony out of here. Whoa, boy. I'm about to lose the devourer, or guardian, yeah. There's no sense losing men, or losing units. Just hold off. Oh. Ha-ha! Uh-ah. Uh. Oh, what a... Hmm. I need to one volley this crap. Is this a... Okay, I was thinking that might be a high guardian there for a moment. I don't know if they have another Greater Spire or not. Actually, kill that thing first. Yeah, because I knew that was going to get in range. Alright. I don't think there's anything actually... I don't think they actually have anything over here other than just a shitload of colonies along the coast. Ah, oh, I lost the Guardian. I'm taking my sweet time and I'm destroying every damn thing possible. Actually, I should send Zerglings down here too. Rally here. Oh, shit. Okay, it does work. For some reason, I was thinking that wouldn't work if I did that on the mini-map. Oh yeah, Zerglings, clean them up. Now how the tables have turned against Carpenter's Brood, except, uh... Except I don't have, like, 5,000 Zerglings. I only have about, eh, 50. Eh, a couple dozen. High Guardian, huh? Oh. Come on, Snake Poison, get in there and do some damage. There you go. And, uh, kill off this sunken colony. Good job, Snake Poison. Keep rebuilding those Hydralisks. We've got to get them up to the front. Yeah, they're not... They're barely... Actually, kill, kill this shit. I believe enemies are spawning out of the edge of the map. 
I will turn Black Sheep Wall on here in just a moment to confirm that. But I do believe these greater mutalisks are actually spawning on the edge of the map. Infinitely. Oh, I found another hive over here. I actually didn't even remember this was over here. You go down. You go down. Go down. Look at my resource count. 20, 22,000. Unreal. 22,000 minerals and 11,000 gas. I got enough to wipe out the entire ar these entire armies easily. Uh, in the original version, there were random Yggdrasils floating around, which are the hero units, the uh, overlord hero unit that granted 30 control. I'm not sure why... Uh, oops, did not mean to... that. Okay. Uh-oh. Hmm, and of course there's a sunken colony behind it all. Hmm. Don't get in range. Yeah, yeah, the greater mutalisks are just spawning on the edge of the map, I think. So. There's so damn many, I can't even attack from range. But, uh, the cerebrate, the carpenter cerebrate is directly through there. Now, obviously, I could end the mission now. But, uh, I'm more vindictive than that. I'm going to turn on Black Sheep Wall now, since I pretty much have this map one. Make sure they're... Just to see if they are actually spawning from the edge of the map like I think they are. Uh, you get out of here. Oh. You guys just keep, you guys just rampage your way down there. Hi, Guardian. Okay, so apparently I was wrong about the... Okay, so apparently I was wrong about, uh... The Guardians. No! Snake Poison! Stop it! Stop dying! You will not die... ...trying to kill off sunken colonies. Although apparently in Rise of Devour's Children, uh... ...in certain missions, the the thing can reanimate itself from the dead. I don't know if it can do that here, but I'm not risking it because snake poison is so good. 
What's this over here? Oh, that's just a queen. Dead. I could be an asshole and just search every unit, or kill everything on the map, but nah. I think it's time we end, end Atticus Carpenter's pathetic existence. Now, I... Whoa. I've been meaning to talk about this for a little bit. Ha about how this ties into the plot. Blizzard themselves are kind of on the fence. And this Carpenter... And this Cerebrate rean uh, not being able to reanimate... brings up several potential plot holes, no matter which way you look at it. Indeed it is. Um, because... If the thing can just stop reanimating... Why, or like, why does this, why does it just stop reanimating this time? Because the Overmind won't let it? If that were the case, surely the Overmind wouldn't have let it reanimate before. And if you say, well, Zerg can kill, you know, their own kind, if that were the case, then Kerrigan wouldn't have needed Zeratul's help to kill the new Overmind in Brood War. So no matter which way you look at it, it's a plot hole if it's canon. But, whatever. Blizzard themselves haven't really confirmed that it is. And on that note, Insurrection is indeed over. So, thank you all for watching if you've watched the playlist up to this point. And once again, I will play Rise of Devour's Children once Vorgaz releases his uh, big update for that campaign. So, I'll see you guys for that. Farewell. Oh, and I hit the button. Stop recording.